Okay, so we're going to go over creating grass planes for painting on your terrains in Unity, like this. So a couple of things to make sure of. With your grass planes, we're going to try and keep them so they go smaller towards the outside. Um, so you want them to taper down at the edge, larger grass planes in the middle, smaller ones at the outside there. So we've got nice little tufts of grass. So then when you have tufts towards the edge of your grass, it doesn't look like there's massive bits of blade, blades of grass sticking up out of nowhere. So what we'll do, uh, just for a quick example, this is uh, the Unity default grass texture that comes with the terrain assets. Um, once I remove that, it is the layer. So it's just a single collapsed layer. And in the alpha channel, as you would expect, it has a mask for the grass, uh, grass blades. Um, now what I'm going to do is show you how to create your own grass tufts using uh, one of the default Photoshop brushes. Though you can, and I do encourage you to create your own brushes for this, which we've been over in previous tutorials, um, or to hand paint them as well. But just to get you up and running quickly, I'll show you how to use some of the, uh, the default brushes to get easy grass plans. So, um, as you can see, the, the Unity uh, grass plane is 256 by 256. Remember, keeping your textures at power of 2 allows the uh, compression algorithm, algorithms to get the most out of your uh, compression. So, what we want to do is create a new texture, we'll call it grass plane 01, and we're going to make it 512 by 512 pixels. Um, always good practice to create your textures at twice the resolution that you want to um, work in, or that you want to, that you expect to output them as. That way, if you ever need to up-res your game, or you ever need to have higher res textures for whatever reason, they're there for you. Okay, so we'll create that. Now, first things first, we want to choose a nice palette. For our grass, I'm just going to copy the palette from here, from the Unity texture. So in my foreground color, I'm going to select just the green. And in my background color, I'm going to select a darker green. Oh, dark green. And light green. Cool. So first things, or second thing second, is we'll fill the background. Actually, we won't fill the background just yet. Um, what I'll do is get you to go up to your brushes menu. So if you go to Window Brush and click on your brush presets. In the default brush presets um, for Photoshop, there's this grass bladey brush. Uh, this one here, you can see, just up there. Okay, so if you paint with this by default, um, I think I've changed a few of the settings here, but you'll get a scattering of a you know, uh, blade of grass like brushes. It, by default, it has a few different settings on in the brushes here. Um, it has shape dynamics, which allows you to modify, and you'll notice as I'm adjusting this slider, the angle jitter of your brush. So what that means is every time it draws an instance, it offsets it by a random amount uh, about its axis. So this gives us a bit of a, helps us get a, an organic look, having a little bit of natural variation. Uh, there's also a roundness jitter, which just kind of squashes and stretches the brush head as well. So we want to just play with that a little bit, not too much. 
And then you've got a minimum roundness as well, which doesn't really matter a whole lot at the moment. One issue, one thing that we will need to change is, notice as I'm painting these grass blades here, they're all facing in the one direction. We want to get a little bit more variation and have them swap around as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm down the bottom here in your brush window, shape dynamics, there's a flip X jitter which means it will randomly swap your brushes around. So you're going to get, um, you're going to get your uh, grass blades kind of turning back on one another. So once you've done that, you may find that you want to turn your angle jitter down a little bit. Turn roundness up a bit. Okay. So next setting is scattering. So what scattering does, I'll turn scattering off to show you what happens. Okay, so scattering only draws where the center of the brush is. I mean, if you have scattering off, it will only draw where the center of the brush is. If you have scattering on, it will draw further from the center of the brush. So if I adjust this slider, you can see I just get a random field of grass. So I'm going to keep that relatively small because we're going to want to paint across the bottom of the texture pretty much and have it fill out our plane. Then you've got count here. So count is how many it's drawing. So essentially this determines our density. So I'm going to turn the count right down because we want to just be able to place a few bits of random grass around. And I'm actually going to turn the scattering all the way down because we want to keep our control over the scatter but we want to also turn the count down here. Uh, then we've got color dynamics as well which I'll go into a little bit more in a second. Oh actually you can see it here. The color dynamics what it's doing here is you've got foreground background jitter so that is determining how much it's going to swap between the foreground color and the background color. If I turn that all the way down you'll notice that I'm only going to get the one color of grass, which is fine, but just to get a little bit of variation, I'm going to turn the foreground and background jitter probably just up to about 30%, just to give it a little bit of variation. All right. Um, and then you've got hue jitter as well, which just offsets the hue. Uh, I'm going to put that down to 0% because we don't really necessarily want to change the hue because we've already got a background and foreground color that we want to sec select between. Uh, then you've got a brightness jitter as well, which we might just put the brightness jitter up to maybe, say, 20%. And this will just change. Oh, maybe that's a bit much. Let's pop that back down. Let's try 7 there you go, just to get a little bit of variation in the brightness, you might have bits of grass that are a little bit more dead than others, a bit more fresh grass that are going to take on different brightness, um, and possibly saturation as well. So let's try popping our saturation up to say 15%. So again, dry or more dead grass may actually have a little bit less saturation. Saturation meaning the amount of color, the strength of the hue in the color. All right, and then we've got smoothing. We don't need that on. Now, something you'll notice here at the moment, right, is if, I, if I'm painting my grass blades, actually, this brush is probably a little bit pixelated for this resolution. Um, don't worry about that for the moment. We can fix that up by making our own brushes later. Actually, I might just change the image size down. Don't, don't you do this at the moment, but um, just change the image size down for now. just so the brushes look a little bit better. Now, what we want to do too, so we've got our size jitter here. We probably want to turn the size jitter down. Let's 
so we have a little bit more control. Maybe down to about, say, 50%. Now you'll notice too that the brush is probably a little bit too curved at the moment. We're getting a lot of this kind of arch-like arch shape popping out. So to change that, what I'm going to do is if you click on brush tip shape at the top of your brush, there's this circle on the side here. Now what this does is it allows you to change the angle of your, um, of your brush. Ah, uh, okay, see, I see. All right, so we might need to turn our, um, if we go back into, where is it, scattering, uh, shape dynamics. Because we've changed the angle of the brush head, when we flip it, it's flipping about its own vertical axis, so we're getting these, uh, these grass blades that are bending very far over. So I'm just going to turn flip X jitter off under shape dynamics here. Okay, so we've got our angle jitter up a bit. Cool, so we're ready to paint, start painting our uh, grass planes. So we've got our brush set up. What I'll get you to do is save your brush. So we'll go new brush preset. So that's by clicking on this little double, oh, not the double arrow at the top, 